Here in the UK, the built environment contributes around 40% to the UK's carbon emissions, and around 23% of that is associated directly with buildings, both direct and indirect emissions. So Siaz Hill has this wonderful opportunity to convert a 1930s telephone exchange into a deeply retrofitted, ultra-modern new headquarters. So this project is a deep retrofit. It's a fabric-first retrofit. And we have corrected defects that are in this building that go back to when it was first built in the 1930s. And it is about setting up this building for a 100-year life in the future. We've pretty much covered off everything we can do to make it lean, efficient, usable, and fit for purpose. The sustainability standards for this project are some of the most ambitious that have ever been set for any built environment project. They include targeting the BRIAM standard to a level of outstanding, targeting the low energy passive house standard, what we call ENAFIT, layering on top of that the well standard for the user and for sustainable health and well-being. And then if that isn't enough, we included carbon target. In addition to that, we said it should be an exemplar of the circular economy in actual practice. So putting together all of these criteria makes this project one of the most ambitious projects in the built environment sector. We're in the conservation area here in central Cambridge, so there were actually fairly minimal changes externally. Our biggest change was the windows. We wanted to put in new windows that were triple glazed so we could meet the NFIT standard, but we also wanted to change the existing sash window to just a single pane of clear glazing. The daylighting levels in here were really, really low, and to make this a nice place to work, we wanted to increase the natural daylight as much as possible, which will be fantastic for the people working here. So we're using a number of different layers of insulation internally. In doing so, it creates our air tightness layer, so we don't need to add in an additional membrane to do that. There's not been really any project that has delivered in terms of a refurbishment what this project's going to do. And I think that's really going to show that actually the most sustainable building is the one that already exists. Innovation was one of the key elements of the project brief from the start and I think the main one for me is just the fact that this is a deep energy retrofit and so the project's actually just achieved its 90% design stage certificate for BRIAM which I think is probably one of the highest in the country. I think what's key with a retrofit is you assemble a team of individuals and companies who have the experience to really understand the issues. They've got to buy into the shared vision. Quite simply, without collaboration this project would not happen. We are trying to make a building that isn't really designed or constructed with great air tightness in mind, almost completely airtight. We're getting certified too on this building, so we need to make sure that we're checking, double checking, triple checking every time to make sure everything we introduce into the design and on site and construction is compliant with everything across the board. There's an element of upskilling uh, that's required with, with the subcontractors, but there's also a real need to get specialists. It was about getting the right person who knew their product, knew how it would work in this building and making sure that they were set up to succeed. We have an extraordinary opportunity. We have 30 years of working at the cutting edge. We have networks right the way across the world. We have Cambridge in our name, but we're a thoroughly global institution. Now that we will have the Entopia building, that network will have a go-to home, both virtually and physically. It's so cool to think that a former telephone exchange, the old technology, could now become the catalyst for some of the world's most important leadership and innovation to achieve the sustainable development goals by the end of this decade of action.